Yeah, guys, uh, I welcome you all to the session of today. So it seems like people are not serious, and I'll make sure or I don't uh, 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 save the recording. So for those who are, enjoy, uh, are attending, it's great for you guys. Good luck. Yeah, so guys, it seems like people are still uh, uh, attending here. Yeah, maybe I'll two minutes got, uh, got ten pass. I'll be also sharing my screen this side. So yeah, I think everything will be starting uh, ten past two. So I wanna share you on how to use those particular pending orders, and also <clears throat> how to set stop loss and how to lock profit. In case you didn't be able to understand everything about those. Uh, stop losses and stuff. Can why you can get off on the figures? So, guys, uh, this is going to be a short session. It's not gonna be a long thing. Here I'll be just like explaining you on how to set those particular stop losses and also to, to use the pending orders. So let's get ah. Uh, Yeah, so guys, let's start. Let's start. So here, I will first show you how to set the stop loss in a buy trade. Remember what is a stop loss is just a level where the market, when it reaches it, then the trade will automatically close with that particular uh, loss that you've made. Nah. So check what's going to happen now. Let's say I'm willing to buy here or to sell. Let me start by buying. Okay, here I open a buy trade. 
Uh, I want to make you understand how to set stop loss first. So since it's a buy trade, meaning what I'm willing for the market to go above my entry level and my entry level is this line that I'm having the dotted line here. And then now check how I set my stop loss. I just drag it down anywhere I want. So that side is even showing you the loss that you're gonna be a, a, a willing to make when the trade automatically come and hit your level. So now my stop loss in a buy trade has to be below my entry price. And then my take profit has to be above my entry price. So check my take profit. I can set it to be here. Like one. So my, my, my take profit has to be above in a buy trade and then stop loss below. So now this means when the market come and hit my stop loss here, it's written here's stop loss. In case you are not being able to see, here's a stop loss level. It will automatically close that particular this particular trade with a loss. <laughs> <laughs> I just got take a lie. Ah, okay, fine. So as I was saying, or if the trade come and hit our stop loss, it will close with the loss. And then if it chooses to hit our take profit, it will close with the profit. Simple like that. So this is how we set a stop loss in a buy trade. So always know that in a buy trade, take, take profit is above, and then stop loss is below. So it's up to you how much money you are willing to lose. So you can, the more you, you drag it down, even a PC is fast because it even shows, it calculates for you the loss that you can, you, 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 you can uh, assume to take. So the moment you keep it dragging down, the moment the loss will keep increasing. But, it's best for you guys to take your stop loss according to your balance or to set your stop loss in a key level and also to enter a trade in a key level. We can say for initial uh, 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 explanation, this can be regarded as a minimum support level. So it's best for you to set stop loss below the, the support level. Not tightly here. So it's not best for you to, to set it exactly below, but at least few pips below the level because you can also have to accommodate the spread. Again, the market can come and try to refill or to retest in this zone, and then it might not retest automatically, but then at least some few pips below the level. And then from there, it continues going up. So that's how it is. This is how we set the stop loss in a buy trade and then TP above then this means when the market come and hit our TP there, the trades will close with a profit. But then if it's a stop loss hit, then the trade will close with a loss. Simple like that. So let's do like this. Now I'm closing this. Uh, close order, close order, close order. Okay. Uh, I want to close this trade so that I can place a sell trade so that you can be able to see how it's gonna look if it's a, it's a sell trade. Where's that trade one? It should be somewhere there. Here it is. I'm closing that trade. Yeah, the trade is closed. So you see what I was telling you about? If you are buying in that support, you can either place a stop loss below the level. So now let's say maybe it's a sell trade. I'm willing to sell here. And then how do I set my stop loss? I simply drag it above my, 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 my entry level. Remember my entry level is these dotted lines that are, are being showed here. And then my TP, I can set it maybe there, like what? So every time simply know that in a sell trade, stop loss is above 
and then take profit is below, and then the buy trade stop loss is below your entry level, and then TP above. Simple like that. So also here, when the trade come and hit or the market come and hit our stop loss, it will close with the loss. Automatically, the PC manages to calculate the loss for you. If you keep on dragging or adjusting this stop le uh, uh, loss level, it's, it, it shows you how much loss you, you're going to, to, to get by that time when the market come and hit the, the, the level. Level. So, okay, fine. At least now you understand how to set the stop loss. So now the thing that I will do, guys, I want to show you how to lock profits. Right? Let me close this uh, this trade, or let me simply use another another pair there. I ah, know. Let me let me let me close this trade once. US thirty cell, US thirty cell, US thirty cell, US thirty cell. Is this this one? Yeah. Is the trade? Okay, the trade is closed. So now let me say, now we are willing to lock profits now. Nah? Because I, I, I remember I recently had some trades there. So you see these trades that I've placed here in this level. What's the level? This level. In this level, I had a buy trade here. Do you, are you able to see these buy trades that I've placed here? So now they're in deep profits, if you can check, because I entered here and check what the market is. So let me say I want to uh, lock profits. I simply do like this. Remember, in the buy trade, my stop loss has to be below. And then now it's below, it's adjusted. And then now I'm dragging it to be above my entry level. I can even set it to be that side. So this means that the market, even if it comes back and hit my stop loss, automatically my stop loss is set on the profit side. Oh, but now how do we do this? Come again. I think this guy is asking. Okay, guys, let's make this thing simple. Remember, I'm having a countdown here. If you're having a question, I will give you enough time for you to ask me questions while we are near. Uh, ending the session. So please, guys, let's save time so that others can also understand and catch up. And if you have a question, guys, you'll ask as time goes on before we end the session. I'll give you enough time for asking. Yeah, so as I was saying, guys, for those who didn't understand me, my first initial stop loss level check my first initial stop loss has to be below but then since my trades are in the profits if you can check i bought here and then the market is running above there so i can now be able to take my stop loss to be in the profit side so this is how i lock profits if you can check now my stop loss if i keep on adjusting it is no longer seeing stop loss and negative balance that side but it's showing a profit so this means that even if the market manages to come back below it and reaches this level, it's gonna close the trades with profit. So this is what we call trading for free. You are risking for free because you know that obvious these trades, even if they close, there is no loss, but if it keeps on going up, the profit will keep increasing. So this is how we lock profit in a buy trade. Let me check if I'm still having some sell trades and show you how we lock profits. Let me search for sell trades, sell trades, sell trades, sell trades, sell trades, sell trades. Uh, let me see sell trades. Get it by fair. Okay, okay, it's a sell odd USD. There is a sell on odd USD. Let me switch to odd USD. Oh, well, guys, please mute your mics, one. Ah. Okay, I'm searching for the sell trade. Get a sell trade.
So I want to show you, remember this thing is about vice versa. It's not a, a, a hard thing. So if you do it in a buy trade, you can also do it in a sell trade. So these are sell trades. Remember my initial stop loss at first has to be above. Remember I'm in a sell trade, but now I want to lock profits. So how do I lock profits? I simply direct my stop loss to be on the profit side like this. Like what? I can set it anywhere I want. So meaning even if the market manages to come back above that side, the trades will automatically close with the profit. Like you want a simple like that. So that's how we lock profits. So I think now I've managed to show you how to lock profits and how to set a stop loss and a TP. So if I'm willing to set TP check, I can also just bring it down like this to be like that. Like one. So this means when the market reaches this TP, it will lose the profit. And also when it comes back to my initial stop loss, where I've managed to lock profit, it will close with profit. So all these trades will be closed in profit once I manage to lock profit. So now I managed to show you how to lock profit and how to set stop loss and also how to set check profit. So I want to show you how to use the pending orders. Let's check gold this side. Um, okay, fine. Let's use GPBUSD. Uh, let's use a one minute chart so that we can be able to, to fasten things. It's a, it's a one minute chart on GPBUSD. So I will start showing you on how to use stop orders. Then stop orders, I'm doing about buy stop and a sell stop. So this is, it works like this way. So let's say I'm willing to buy maybe in this purple price, but the market is still going down and maybe I'm not sure that the market will come back in this kind of a level here was the that thing. Maybe let's say I'm analyzing and I'm moving something like this. Maybe I can see here it's a support level, but I'm not sure if the market is gonna be able to come back and retest in this zone or it will just simply manages to go up from, from this level. So let's say maybe now I'm, I wanna use my people price. I wanna buy here, but I, I'm, I'm not that sure. So what can I do? I can be able to use what I call a, a, a stop, a, a buy stop. Let's keep that in mind, buy stop. And then check how I place my buy stop. I'll do it like this, new order. I click here to new order. And then I come and change here on market execution. I'm using a pending order. And then I will select the type of the market order that I want. I'll choose a buy stop, like what? So a buy stop is simply buy in the above price while the market is still below. Check what I'm going to do. I paste the number and then I click place. And then what can I see now? Let me include my three levels. And then now I'm deleting my, my people price. Levana, this is how we said a buy stop. So this means that if the market manages to come and pass above this price, once it arrives in this play, a, a, a level here, my dotted line, it's gonna open automatically open a buy tree. So you can be also able to set a stop loss there like this, uh, I mean, sorry. Then here, you, everything is done manually. So maybe I can be able to set it everywhere below the, the, the level of my, my dotted lines, not where the market is currently running at. So I can also copy this number, the people price. I click copy or cut, then people price. Then I open my, my window there my toolbar, and then I have to search for this pending order. I don't know, guy, my pending order. So unfortunately, it places it below here, level one in this blue level, and then I click uh, uh, modify, level one. I click the order, and then I click modify. Then I set my stop loss. Level one, there is an option of stop loss, and then kafaka paste. Then I click modify. Then it's done. So now, if I can be able to remove this 
people price there a people level i mean it's you can be able to see my stop loss so i can be also able to open to set a what a tp in a buy stop the very same way remember now you know how to set a stop loss and tp so tp is always above so i click okay and then now i go back to modify my my buy stop driver then i click modify and then i tick I set something there, the number, and then I click modify when done. And then if we can check now, if, if we can check now, my buy stop is there, having a stop loss and also a take profit. So using a PC is an advantage because even if I wanna drag this stop loss, I can be able to shift it in a fast way. I want to take profit to that side. So that's how we, 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 we do it. So now at least I've managed to show you how to set a stop loss and how to set a take profit and how to set a to lock profit and also how to, uh, to set a pending stop, a, a, a buy stop. So now it means that the market, if let's say we are willing to predict that it will buy, but then I'm not sure or I'm not willing to, 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 to make big losses. I can be able to set a buy stop here and then the market when it comes and activate this buy stop, it will open a buy trade, then TP there, then stop loss there. Then you just place it and leave it and then you see how the market reacts. It will either hit your take profit or your stop loss. So then let's check how do we do a sell stop. Let's choose another pair. Now let's work on uh, Euro GPB. Let's say now I'm willing to set a sell stop here. A sell stop, I have to be below. Let's say maybe I'm projecting, I'm projecting that the market will come and do something like this. Maybe let's say this is our, let's say maybe, I am a, maybe let's say this is our maybe resistance level somewhere like that in that maybe let's say we're pre predicting to sell that side but i'm not willing to 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 make big losses then i can be able to trigger the market to sell stop maybe let's say my prediction is like this i can come and set a sell stop here remember how i do it i copy the number cut to be to be to be to be short and then I click new order. I choose a sell stop, a sell stop. And then the price, I paste that number. Then if you check now, okay, let me include three levels. So I wanna was my, my sell stop. So if I wanna set a, 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 a stop loss that side, I automatically take that number again. I copy it or cut it, it's up to you. Then cutting is fast because it also remove it. And then I do like this. I go to Euro GPP. I click on modify. And then I update my stop loss there. Here's my stop loss. I paste, then I click modify, and then it's done. Like what? So this is how we set a, a stop loss under a sell stop. And then let, let me see, maybe I wanna also uh, share a, a set, a, a, a take profit. Maybe let's say it has to be this side. Remember in a sell trade, a sell a, a take profit is below your entry level and then stop loss above. At least now you know how to set a stop loss. So I'm not gonna be considering some questions like that. Then I click cut. Then I click TP. I modify and then I come to my TP. I click paste and then modify. And then everything is from there. If, if I'm willing to adjust, I can simply adjust my stop loss from there to there. Remember it can keep on showing you how much loss you will be doing and then even proof it that side, <clears throat> something like that. So it's up to you. And then this is how we place a, a, a sell stop.
This thing is not hard. It's a matter of you understanding that what comes above and what comes below and how do I set myself stop and pending a buy stop. So now we've covered how to set a buy stop and how to place a sell stop. So we are fine using pending a stop orders. So then what's next is for us to learn how to use a, a backing, the buy limit, the limit orders. Yeah, buy limit and, and, and also sell limits. So a buy limit, guys, is something like this. It's a vice versa of a buy stop. Let's say maybe this is our support level. Let's say maybe this is a buy le a, 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 a level where we're predicting to buy. We place a buy limit while the market is in the condition of coming down. So my buy limit will be like this. The moment the market is going down, I can be able to place a buy limit here. Cut. And then I click new order. And then I take a buy limit. I have one. So this is how I set my buy limit. So this simply means that the market, if it comes below here, it comes below the level where I set a buy limit, it will open a buy trade. Then if you're thinking that it will uh, 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 retest re re there and go up, then you will be warning the trades because the moment it comes back here, it will open a buy trade and then it goes up according to your prediction. So if I wanna set a stop loss, nothing wrong. You know that stop loss on in a buy trade is below. I'll simply cut this number like that as usually we do. And then guy better ka, ka cut, ka okay. Then I select my buy limit. Here you see your pending orders below the running trades. Yeah, Boncha or Euro USD, buy limit, lot size, price, your entry level, stop loss. Then let me set the stop loss there. Paste and then modify, done. And then take profit the very same way. You know that in a buy trade, in a buy trade, you take profit as to be above. Then I simply take that number, I cut it there. Cut, okay. And then I come and update my TP. Then my TP, paste, modify, and then simple. Done. So I want to miss. this is how we place a buy a buy limit. So now I'm not in profit. The trade is a, a heavy yet placed itself. It will only activate the buy limit once the market does something like this. It comes below here, it retests, and then it goes up till to my take profit. That's that's how it's gonna activate my buy limit. So it's gonna open a buy trade once it comes to this below. Uh, uh, blue dotted lines. So now let's set a, a, a sell limit. Let's choose another pair. A5, a sell limit is a vice versa of a buy limit or a vice versa of a buy a sell stop. So a sell limit, you have to set it above where the market is currently running at. Maybe let's say this is uh, it's my resistance level here. Let's say maybe this is my resistance level and I'm willing for the market to come back and retest in, inside this zone. Maybe it do something like this. That is my prediction. I to do something like this and I wanna place a sell trade. So I simply place my sell, sell limit there. I copy the number as usual, you know, how we're doing it previously soon here. Then cut, then that, new order. 
and then pending pending order not instead of market execution and then sell limit and then the lot size is there's the volume and then price it's where i'm setting it paste and then place my sell limit is like that so it means that the market when it comes above this a uh, uh, blue dotted lines it will open a sell trade and then let me say my stop loss i'm willing to set it maybe above the the the, the, the resistance level i can be doing it like this copy cut okay and then i go to my it's gonna be down there and then stop loss modify and then in stop loss done modified like what then if you can check now i'm having a stop loss in my pending limit there in my sell limit and then maybe let's say i'm willing to set my tp to here and then i click properties parameters copy card number okay done then i go to my simple like that paste h i wanna know i've made a big mistake maybe let's say my tp i want to set it to be there i copy the number So for those who are having laptops, it's best for you to use a laptop because it's very fast. If you can check here, you can't be able to use this on the phone. A phone will complicate you. Then that. And then TP set it. So that's how I set my my cell limit and also a TP. Now one of this is simple. So now you know how to set a cell limit. And now you know how to set a buy stop and also you know how to set this a, a stop loss and also to set take profit and also how to lock profit simple like that so our session guys was about how to use these pending orders and also how to set stop loss how to lock profit something like that so now is the chance for you guys for those who are having questions to ask me everything they're willing to ask only note that this the questions that i'm willing to take they are related to, to what i was showing you here if it's not related just meet me in box so i'm gonna be taking your questions guys if you're having a question just unmute your mic and ask simple like that So then if there is no question, it's fine. If there is no question, it's fine, guys. We'll simply end the session. So I'll, I'll try by all means to update the recording. So this is how we do it. Sell limit that side. And then buy limit like that. And then this is how we lock profit in a sell trade. And then this is how we place the buy stop. And then automatically the market managed to activate my buy stop if you can be able to check them. Because it should have written buy stop, but then it's now written a buy. So meaning what these two lines were above my entry level. That's why the buy stop is activated like that. And then this is how we lock profits in a sell trade in a buy trade. So simple like that. So if you're having a question, guys, you can come in box. I think the session, it ends here. Good luck, guys. I appreciate your presence till we meet in the next session.